All right, I got a ton of work to do today, but what I wanted to show you is how to automate plugin parameters when you're using Blue Cat Audio's patchwork plugin as a VST wrapper. All right, so I'm gonna use this session as an example because it's my session and I don't need to ask for permission. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a silly example though. I, I think I might do something kind of silly as, as the example, but I'm just gonna play the end of the session here. I'm an imposter in my own skin, so let it sink in. And what I'm going to show you here really quick is I'm just going to add it on the master fader to do something. So I'm just going to search Blue Cat. Uh, I'm going to do patchwork and stereo because I'm on a stereo track here and I want to have a stereo effect, I think, probably. Um, I'm going to add a VST. I'm going to add this one. This one's really silly. I kind of just got it for the fun of it, but endless smile. It adds that like EDM rise before the drop type of effect. So I'm just going to hit open on that. It's so silly. <laughs> it's so silly. All right. So it's a really simple plugin. There's just an intensity knob. That's why I think it's a good example for how to do this. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. But, you know, if you go to automate your parameters here, you'll notice we just have a million different control values and it can get very confusing. Um, and the way you normally do this within the plugin, right, is you pick the, the variable that you want to automate here, and then you hit add, and it adds it there, and then you open up the automation graph for it. So it's pretty simple, right? But for this, since we have a plugin within a plugin, essentially, it's not so obvious. So I'm just going to pick control one. That's what I would recommend doing. So we have to do two steps of selecting what parameter, basically. So I'm doing control one, and then you're going to tell the plugin basically that you want control one to control the intensity within this plugin within a plugin. So that's the extra step that's there when you're using a VST wrapper, when you're using this VST wrapper. Um, this is the one I use, so this is what I know, right? So I'm going to click here where it says endless smile. I'm just regular clicking, left clicking. It's not a right click. I'm going to go to params map, and then I'm going to choose the parameter that I want. So in this case, it's pretty much just the intensity right so I'm gonna hit that it's pretty easy to spot it on the list when it's that's all there is and then I'm gonna open up this automation graph here and I'm gonna find it so I go volume and this is just like when we're normally automating plugin parameters right so it's control one so I have it it's all the way down here and I'm just going to automate it up to the end maybe like just the last two measures just for funsies it's gonna be so weird <laughs> all right I'm gonna hit play so you can hear it and you can see the parameter move that was actually kind of fun. I kind of liked that. I thought that was going to be weirder than it was. I actually really, I kind of liked that. That's kind of silly. Um, anyway, so that's the basic idea. That's how you automate plugin parameters within Blue Cat Audio's patchwork plugin if you're using it for a VST wrapper, at least. So I hope that helps someone out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Noise, and my patrons get access to additional content. I have some stuff on my website for them, handouts, stuff like that. We also have a Discord server that we've been hanging out on, and I've been giving them early release videos as well. And on the Discord server, we've been doing a book club. We just finished Sylvia Massey's recording on Hinged, and we're about to start a new book that I'm going to be posting about on Instagram, I believe. So um, check that out. My Instagram's at Kato Noise if you're curious about what book we might be reading. And, you know, check out the Patreon if you feel so inclined. I believe it's a dollar a month is the, the lowest value that you can do on Patreon. I'm not really sure. But um, other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks so much for hanging out. Okay. I hope it's okay. I did another shorty video. I got a whole bunch of homework due for grad school. And I have a bunch of freelance stuff to do as well. So I figured I'd bring the shorty back in for this week. I hope that's okay. I also, um, I went to WhamCon this past weekend, this weekend, like two days ago, basically. And it was a lot of fun. It was really great. I met a lot of really cool people and it was nice talking to everyone. And it was my first in-person WhamCon or Wham event of any kind, my first in-person one. So uh, that was a lot of fun. And um, you know what actually happened uh, when I came home on Saturday night? I started getting like heart palpitations because I've been drinking so much coffee. It's something that my mom used to get and um, she switched over to, she quit ca caffeine for a while and that fixed it. And now she says she can drink tea and that works. So um, basically I decided I was going to quit coffee today because I've been having these heart palpitations and um, it was really rough this morning. So I caved and had some tea 
And then I caved again and had a half a cup of coffee. So I'm trying to slow down my coffee, at least. I told myself I was going to quit it, but I'm just slowing it down, I guess. And um, maybe quit it. Maybe quit it for a few days. Just give my body like a reset kind of thing. I used to do that every so often, but I don't know. It's been pretty rough. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, so <laughs> it's uh, I'm dragging. I'm dragging. Okay. Um, I think that's... I think that's good. I think I should move on. I hope you're all doing well. Talk to you all soon. Bye.